So if you are a regular JavaScript developer, you're probably already familiar with the concept of events. Events are just pieces of code that fire when you interact with a button or you interact with the page in any type of way. But in plain old JavaScript, it's almost a three-step process. You have to go into your HTML, you have to grab the HTML element that you want, you have to create the event listener, and only then will you be able to execute the code once this button is pressed. But the great thing about React is that this is all abstracted away. This same process is going on, but it's happening directly in the JSX like we saw in the previous video. And instead of having to grab the button, create the event listener, you just have the event listener built straight into the JSX. And all that you need to do is place the code that you want to run when you actually click the button or do an on change and this will execute for you. And all of this is going to be executed underneath the hood. But there's a lot to TypeScript and I'm going to show you some tips and some hacks in order to be able to type your events because there's so many different types of events. But let's go ahead, let's hop inside VS Code and let's do some coding. So this code is working, but there are parts of this code that don't have TypeScript. What's happening when you use this keyword any is that it's going to allow anything to go into the actual function. And that goes against everything that we want in TypeScript. So we need to figure out what we're going to type this with. And you would be correct in asking yourself, well, how do I actually find this type? It's actually pretty tricky. So what you want to do if you want to find the type and if you ever have any issues finding types for event handlers, all that you do is you go down to the E where your event handler is and copy the actual type that you see right here. So I'm going to go into here. You could copy the whole, you could copy React, but I'm just going to go ahead and just copy the change event. And then you just paste it into here and bring it in, update it, import it from React, and you're good to go. This is great. This is working, but... We need to refactor some things. I'm going to go ahead and name this handle change. And I'm going to create a button that is going to have another event handler. So I'm going to go into here, go ahead, handle the change. And let's just for practice sake, create a button. And we're going to give this an on click. And what we need to do next is we need to provide a function that is going to actually execute when this click actually happens. You could put all the code in here. Technically, you could do an inline statement and place all of the code in here. You technically don't even have to create a function, but just for being official sake, I am going to go into here and I'm going to say on click and I'm going to create an on click function that's going to do all the work for us. So go into here, go ahead, create a function and we are good to go. But we need to be able to pass our event. So if I go into here, Click here, go ahead. You could call this whatever you want. You can call it event. I like to just go with E. We could put any in here. We could turn off the TypeScript, but that's super lazy and we don't want to do that. But the bad thing is that when we actually hover over this, you're not going to get the type. And that's because this type is actually this function. So in order to be able to find the type, remember that you need to actually look for the E. You need to hover over the E in the function. So if I go here or hover over the E, I'm going to get the mouse event and I'm gonna go into here and I'm going to copy and paste it. And sometimes you have issues with bringing it in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go up here and I'm going to say mouse event and bring it in up here and that will go ahead and bring it in. So now we can actually pass it to our on click. And if I go on click, and pass in my E and go down here. We can also just console log it. Let's go ahead, test it to make sure that works. You will oftentimes get this red squiggly line. And here's another trick. If you can't figure out the type, and this is actually very common, these types are so intricate and these types are very finicky to deal with. What you can do is you can just delete this and type in synthetic event. And this is a broader version that pretty much handles all events, but also provides type checking 
for you. And if you add a synthetic event, if you don't want to deal with the mouse event, sometimes the mouse events are just terrible to deal with. You can just do a synthetic event. I would highly recommend to try to find the type first, but if you can't get it working, you can't get it going, it's very common. You can also just place in the synthetic event. So go into here, go ahead, I'm gonna go NPM start, and let's go ahead in here and make sure that our mouse event is working. So I'm gonna go here, go, go ahead, click that, and as you can see, we are now getting our mouse event. And that is our video on event. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.